All right, we are getting ready for a trip to Montana. And how rare is this? I'm gonna have all three of my children, my parents, and two grandkids with me. And my children, too, are adults, so I don't know how often everybody can get their adult children together in one place. But a two-week road trip to Montana with a 28-year-old, a 23-year-old, 17-year-old, a couple grandkids, and both my parents, that's, that's pretty sweet. Uh, tonight we're going to go as far as Flagstaff, stay the night in a Cracker Barrel parking lot, and then we're going to uh, make our way from Flagstaff, Arizona, up to uh, the middle of Utah to another Cracker Barrel parking lot, and then from there to my mother-in-law's house in southern Montana, where we'll stay three nights, I believe, maybe four nights. We do some fly fishing, uh, hang out in that area, and then five more hours up to Whitefish, Columbia Falls area, uh, for a music festival. We check out Glacier National Park, a couple rodeos, maybe some more fly fishing. It's gonna be awesome. Today was full of getting the camper ready, getting the truck ready, rewired the camper to the truck hookup, a couple different trips to the storage shed, just a ton of chores, hoping that we don't forget anything. But I think I'm going to go one more trip to the storage shed uh, to get some stuff off my boat that I have in there and fill up the truck with gas before I hook up the camper. And other than that, I think I've got everything under control. I'm sure we'll forget something. All right, come along, it's gonna be fun. Are we going camping? Who's that? Is that my grandson? What? I am your grandson. You are my grandson, that's right. We're going camping? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Oh, we got some apple juice? Yeah. Granddaughter, there's our camper. Ooh. Hi, babe. Hi, sugar. All right. Go give great grandma some love. Woohoo! All right. Let's go. Ready? I'm ready. Let's roll out. Final walk around, Montana or bust. First stop, Flagstaff for the night, Cracker Barrel parking lot, we'll have dinner. We're really just getting ourselves a hour and a half, two hour head start for tomorrow when the real journey begins. All right, here we go. I told Wade our destination, he'll, he'll probably wind up following us. But. Okay. All right, we're back on the move. We were driving toward Anthem and going about 75, pulling our trailer, air conditioning full blast. And all of a sudden my truck said, uh, reducing power to cool engine temp. So we pulled over, because we've got a bunch of hills ahead of us. And I uh, actually added a little bit of coolant Back on the move toward Flagstaff. All right, we made it. Yay! We got a run in the meat. Huh? We got a run in the meat. Yeah, I know. That's weird. And then they don't open till late. We'll be long gone by then. I'm hoping so. Maybe. We had a little engine trouble on the way up. What happened? Well, first it was wanting to overheat, but I guess it was 111 degrees, and I'm pulling almost 12,000 pounds, and we had the air conditioner full blast. So that, but then all of a sudden now it's, it starts missing a, a cylinder every now and then. It'd been doing that, but. Oh, well, crap. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we're gonna see you guys in a minute. Oh, oh our sweet. slide's right there. Are we gonna be able to get I it know. out? I don't know. Probably. Probably. If I have to back it out and go and flip around, we can. Or we could also park in the front over okay. there. Okay, we'll see yeah. you in about yeah. 30 minutes. No problem. Right. Oh, hi, grandson. Hey, my grandson. Hey, we made it. Let's go eat because it closes at eight, believe it or not. No I don't know what kind of. I, want... <laughs> I don't know what kind of dinner restaurant. I want fish like in chicken nuggets. French fries and chicken nuggets, all right. I want. Hey, mommy, I want fish like in chicken nuggets. Okay. Hey, now they close at eight. 
in like Mommy. 20 minutes. Mommy. Mommy's coming. Okay. Let's do it. Were you the girl in the car? Okay. Yeah. Woohoo! And we made it. We had some car trouble the whole way. Yeah. After the whole overheating thing, then we're like, I'm missing a cylinder every now and then. I'm yeah. having like lots of problems. So hopefully we figure it out. I have this mimosa. Mimosa? Yeah, I'll tie your shoe. Hang on. We're here at the Cracker Barrel parking lot. Sleepover at Cracker Barrel. Sleepover at Cracker Barrel. We moved our camper over to a new spot. So we'd be able to put our slide out. We gotta put our slide out now. We've got up uh, on some leveling blocks there. So Cracker Barrels will let you, not only let you, they'll encourage you to camp in their parking lots overnight. Behind all of your Cracker Barrel, they actually have RV parking. They'll have signs for RV parking. So our plan is Cracker Barrel parking lot in Flagstaff, Arizona. Then uh, somewhere up, I'm forgetting the name of the place, up in Utah, and then Montana the next night. We made it. Hey, we this made home. it. home. Woo-hoo. All right, steps down. That had to be the worst night's sleep ever is. Hot and uh, really loud. But it's free. All right, day two, leaving Flagstaff, Arizona. Next stop, Springville, Utah, Cracker Barrel. That was a long night. It was very loud. It was very hot. At one point at two in the morning, I just stood in the parking lot in my underwear. <laughs> it's it cool enough. All right, moving. All right, we're in Cameron, Arizona. The truck's been acting up, and whenever I have to really hit the gas, or when it struggles and it puts more fuel into the engine, I drop cylinder four. Uh, it starts to stumble, and then I drop it, and. It's an issue, I think, with uh, moisture in the intercooler, but I've already changed out the, uh, the coil pack. I've already changed out the spark plugs, although I'm gonna do a new one if I can find a, a place to grab a spark plug when we get where we're going. But right now, I'm just gonna dump all the water off this trailer and try and lose 350 pounds at least. So uh, we stopped at a Chevron and Cameron. I'm gonna get some water off this thing. Boy, we're having adventures. I forgot to film it, but we had a, uh, a leveling jack break also just now, and it came down, and I ended up having to... It was bouncing off the road, so I ended up having to uh, disconnect that and get that off the trailer, too. So, boy, a lot of excitement, unfortunately. All right. All right, hopefully that'll make a difference. We got about 350 pounds off, probably. I hope so. We'll top off and get out of here, and hopefully we can make it over the pass. Welcome to Utah. Thank you. All right, we made it to Beaver. Beaver, Utah. Our daughters are a little bit behind us. They had to stop at a rest stop, so we'll wait for them. We'll check out the I Love Beaver gift store. Get some I Love Beaver bumper stickers. My friends need I Love bump Beaver bumper stickers on their cars. They don't, just don't know they need it yet. Let's check this out. Good morning. You can sleep so good back there. <laughs> Mom's in the I Love Beaver store. I'm gonna go. All right. 
That's where I need to be. After I fill up, I'm gonna pull up over there and park it. We can wait for Hannah. Okay. Right. Something. Should I get this? I don't know. I don't know if I could do it. I do love beaver, but I don't think I can wear that. I heart beaver. I contemplated the t-shirt. The black t-shirt, but I didn't get anything. This one's just subtle enough. It'll be great for the concert. And I forgot a normal wall cap. So. That's true. That'll be perfect. And then you got the I Love Beaver coffee cup for the office. For the office, yeah, because I work in the chaplain's office. Oh, so I think it's, so I think it's suiting. They, uh, they wrapped it up for me on food. I Love Beaver. There you go. Perfect. Oh. Now we just need Mom to come out with uh, Crego's Pizza. Let's we'll see what it looks like. And we'll be on the road two hours. There she is with Crego's Pizza. <laughs> it's a bit windy out there. It is getting windy out there. Wow. It is so windy, holy cow. <laughs> it is. I'm glad you didn't lose the pie. Me too. That lady is so nice in there. They have games for kids. They play. have games for kids. The lady's really nice. Yeah, and they have a craft section where you can buy local made crafts in there. They have two big maps up on the wall where people are pinning their location. Pray John and John and Fall. The... Hey, buddy. What's up, Justin? What are you doing? Well, I've been just sitting here fucking talking to myself and thinking about you guys. That's awesome. Thanks for calling. This is... Yeah. Oh, them steps. I know. Look at that. <laughs> We made it to Springville, Utah. We're at the Cracker Barrel. We got prime parking. Look at this. We got a front lawn. We're going to put our chairs here in a little while. We're going to tailgate the Cracker Barrel. Greg and Leanne are going to grab a, a hotel right there. Why not? Take a nice shower. I'm going to work on the truck right now. What's happening? You made it. I drove two hours. Nice. My road tripping daughters. Pretty nice setup right here. Nice Look, we drove all this way to this campsite. Do you love it? <laughs> Alright, well the rest of the family is sitting in the Cracker Barrel parking lot. We're going to go crystal shopping. <laughs> Melanie wants to check out a crystal place. Do you think it's gonna help me catch fish? Could, could, it could give me positive fish energy. We think yep. so. Here we go. You're gonna need a clear crystal. We need a clear crystal for the Set clear for the clear waters. <laughs> catch no. some fish. Did you land that there forever, or park that there? It'll forever be that way. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't park and I. We are look at look at the mountains right there. That's cool. We're at some place called University Mall. Look, we're at Mallory's favorite father-daughter place, the mall. We always somehow Can you guess why? We always, oh, <laughs> okay, we always somehow end up at a mall. We did not realize we were gonna drive all this way for a kiosk in the mall. It's all right. We're having fun. We're spending time together. Here we go. Good morning. <laughs> Put a camera in your face right in the morning. Did they sleep good? They did. I slept, I knocked out. I knocked out, buddy. I was, I was sleeping good. <laughs> let's get dressed. All right, let's, let's do it. Hello there, travelers. We made it. 
Made it to Montana. Yeah. Made it to Montana. Look who's here. Okay, Scott left you the plug-in. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna disconnect the anti-sway stuff so I can swing with you. Yeah, yeah.